everyone, in today's video, I'll show you how to fix the A driver cannot load on this device error related to the EAN.size driver. There are a few ways to fix this, so follow along and try each step. Let's get started. First, open the Start menu, search for Settings and open it. On the left-hand side, click Windows Update, then go to Advanced Options. Scroll down to Optional Updates, and if you see any updates here, check them off and click Download and Install. Once that's done, go back to the Windows Update tab, click Advanced Options again, then scroll down to Recovery. If you see an option to go back to a previous version, try using that to roll back and see if it fixes the issue. Step 2. Locate and rename the EAN.size file. If that didn't work, we need to rename the EAN.size driver file. Open File Explorer, then go to your C drive, click on the three horizontal dots at the top, select Options, then go to the View tab, find Hidden Files and Folders, select Show Hidden Files, Folders and Drives, then click Apply and OK. Now, scroll down to find a file named EAN.size. If you see it, right-click, select Rename and add a 1 at the end so it becomes EAN1.size. Press Enter, and if a security message pops up, click Continue. Now, restart your PC and check if the issue is resolved. If you don't find the EAN.size file in your C drive, open the Windows folder instead. Go to System32, open the Drivers folder, then scroll down to locate EAN.size, rename it the same way, just add a digit to the end, and press Enter. Again, restart your system and see if the problem is fixed. Step 4. Disable memory integrity and core isolation. If you're still facing issues, there's one last fix. Open the Start menu, search for core isolation and click on it. In here, turn off the memory integrity feature. Once disabled, restart your PC again, and the error should now be completely gone. And that's it. One of these methods should fix the EAN.size driver error for you. If this video helped, drop a like. Subscribe for more tech fixes and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.